afternoon guys. Welcome to Ram's Tutorial. And dito na po yung client ko which is Francis Miguel, grade 6 students. Okay, so yung kanina na sinabi ko po, ito na po yung papasolve ko sa kanya. Yung adding dissimilar fraction. So gagawin na po namin yan. So we're going to start to number 2 kasi yung number 1, uh, pinakita ko na sa'yo kanina po na sinusolve ko na yung number 1. So I discuss it to France about how to solve adding dissimilar fractions. So now, we are going to solve 2 and 4. 2, number 2, we have here, 3 and 4. Okay? We are going to solve now 5, 6 and 2, 9. Yun kasi yung pinakaan namin. Ito po yun. Ay nakikita nyo guys. Yan, number 2, 3 and 4. Okay? Friends, we are going to start solving 5, 6 plus 2, 9. So first, anong gagawin natin? We are going to find it out del CD of 6 and 9. Question. What is del CD of 6 and 9? 54. 50? 54. Very good. Okay, 54. You're right, 54. Okay. Okay. And guys, sinulat niya na po ang sagot. 54. Yan. Okay. Next. Next step to 54, after getting the LCD, you are going to multiply or divide. Divide. Very good. Divide. 54 to the first denominator of the fraction. 54 divided by 6. six. Ibig sabihin, how many 6 and 54? Yeah. Ilang 6 sa 54? 8, eight or 9? 8. No. 9. 9. Okay. So, 9 the next, after divide, multiply or add? Add. No. Multiply. So, the result is 9 when you divide 54 okay. divided 6, guys. So, next, I'm going to multiply in France, 9 to 5. What is the answer of 9 times 5? Mm -hmm. Skip counting by 5. 5, 10, and 15, 20. Okay, skip counting na siya, guys. 5. 45. Okay, you're right. 45. 45 over 54. The answer for 5, 6 plus 2, 9. So, 5, 6 is 45 over 54. Next, guys, is uh, 2 over 9. Yung 2, 9 naman po. Ito po yun. Ito po si number 2. Si 2, 9. So, we're going to uh, divide. 54 divide 9. Then, multiply to 2. Okay. 54 divided by 9. What's the answer for 54 divided by 9? How many 9 in 54? 6 or 7? Like that. So you have to count. 7. Mm -hmm. 54 divided by 9. 6. 6. Okay. Six. Times 2. Times 2. 14. 12. Yeah. Okay. So, next, guys, we are going to add. Okay. Ito na po yung result. I will show you the result. Okay. So, from the similar fraction, nagiging ganito na po siya. Okay. Yan. Ito yun na po. Okay. Yan na po yung result. So, may ratio lang ginawa ni Franz. So, now, solve na naman. Next step is you are going to add. Okay, he add na po yung sa 45 plus 12. Then you are going to rewrite, take note, the denominator. All you have to do is to copy the denominator. Okay, Franz, continue. Plus ko na yung 45 plus 12. Diba? Yun na yung next step. Remember? Seven. Right after you write the answer, so you are going to transfer for our answer sheets. So, dito namin isusulat lahat na guys, yung malinis na po na sagot. Final answer, kumbaga, sa answer sheet namin. So, meron kaming tinatawag na extra sheet for what we call uh, giving the solution for the problem. So, meron kaming final, what we call uh, sheet of paper para malinis po to avoid erasure kasi yung pangbura ng bura, so mahirap yung tingnan. So, gusto ko po, I'll practice to France how uh, to answer it very neat or clean. Okay? Pwede lagi mo dyan. Plus mo. 5 plus 2. Okay, you're right. Oh, 
4 plus 1. 5. Okay, you're right. Oh, hindi, 5. Dapat kasi di ba? 4 plus 1. So, 5 dito. Oh, ayaw ko magbura ng bura. Okay, over. Oh, anong kung ano? 54. So, France 57 over 54 is what we call improper fraction. Why? 57 is greater than 54. Ito kasi yung sagot niya, guys. 57 over 54. Iwan ko kung makikita niyo po yan. So, ngayon, ipapadivide ko po sa kanya. Papa simplify ko pa po yung final answer. Okay. Letter, papakita ko na lahat-lahat ng mga ginagawa ko. Divide mo na. 57 divide 254 <coughs> katuloy na ginawa ko na ganito yan si 57 dito sa loob sa labas 54 57 is your dividend dito ko mag 57 no. si 57 dyan sa loob tapos 54 sa labas yun tinuturoan ko po si France on how to divide it uh, continuously Okay, little by little, para po ma-inculcate sa mind po ni Franz kung paano mag-solve, guys. Okay? Yan, 57 divide 54. Ilang 54 sa 57? Isa o dalawa? One or two? Hmm? 54 yan, tapos 57. Now, when you write 57 up, it should be like this. Okay? Okay, tin-check. Ay, naano ko lang po si Franz, guys. Para po alam niyo yung pag-write ng tamang numbers for digits. Kasi even the grade 6 na po siya, he needs further discussion. Okay, so 1. Saan si 1? Dito po, above 7. Yun. 1. The next step is, after divide, multiply. 1 times 54. The answer is? 54. 54. Very good. You can answer, guys. 54. 8. Oh, po, dito. Yan, subtract. Tapos, 5, 4. 5. Hindi. No, friends. Dito, Oh no, guys. France Miguel get confused. 54 divide 57. Ganito. Diba? 1. So you write 54. Okay, subtract mo na. Okay. Hmm, 7 minus 4. Hmm. Na, kang 7 bawasan ng 4. Ba? Okay, very good. Next, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, tira pa ba? Wala na. So, the answer is, our denominator is 3. So, yung 3 na yun, guys, magiging rem remainder 3 po yun, right? So, the quotient is 1, which is our whole number. Then, si remainder 3 magiging numerator. Si divisor 54 magiging denominator. So, you are going to write, Francis? Our final answer is? 1, isulat mo po. Ganito na yun ha, Francis. Ha? Tandaan mo ha. 1, ito yung si whole number. Si 3 remaining, magiging numerator over denominator. 54. Ito na yung guys, yung final answer namin sa number 1. Ayan. Ito po, ito to. This one. Okay. Okay. Isulat so, mo dito po, Francis. Ito final answer for number 2. Ayan. We have 1 and 354. 354. Okay, yung sa number 1 na sagot kanina, ni teacher. 1, 34, 55. Oh, 34 na. Sis, nandumi naman ang gawa mo. Sorry guys, ayaw ko kasi yung madumi pag magawa. Okay. That's number one and two. So, dito na tayo sa number three. Okay, guys. Let's continue lang mga letter. Okay, bye. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. To subscribe, rather. Or to press the bell button po. Kapag bago ka pa sa channel ko. Okay? Later, I will show you. I will continue to solve another problem with my students' friends.